Hello everyone and welcome! I have decided to sew a snoot for my little boy. It is super warm and comfy and it's great for kids and their little hands. They can easily put it on and off themselves. It never falls on the ground and so they are always protected from the wind and the cold and ready to face the adventures of the day. So let's have a look at the fabric. Here I have a cotton jersey and here I have a four fur stretchy sheep fabric, but it could also be fleece for instance. The length of both rectangles corresponds to the head size plus about 3 cm for ease and sewing allowance. Now the width depends on what you need and want. I went for twice the length of the neck plus 2 cm for the allowance. That's plenty of material and it will be very cozy and comfy. We are going to place both rectangles right sides together and pin. Be generous with your pins, the fur is quite thick and it will want to move under the presser fit of your sewing machine. I am going to take a little moment to trim the excess fur on both sides, look how fast it is with two pairs of hands, and then we are going to stitch our fabrics together at 1 cm from both edges. You can use a serger or a zigzag stitch on your sewing machine, but no straight stitch if you want to keep the elasticity of your snood. Alright, now I am going to grab one edge of the neck warmer and tuck it inside the tube. Both edges should match now, right sides together, that's really important. The side seams should be perfectly aligned as well and we are going to pin everything in place before stitching our neck warmer. We are going to leave a little opening of about 5 to 7 cm. On the fur side or the jersey side, you get to decide. This will allow us to turn the snood inside out later, then the opening will be closed with a few invisible hand stitches. So let's start with stitching at 1 cm from the edge with a few second stitches at the beginning and the end of the seam and without forgetting to leave an opening right here. If your machine allows it, I recommend removing the bed and slipping your snood over the free arm. Let's make a few securing stitches to begin with and c'est parti! When we reach the first side of the snood, I highly recommend lengthening the straight stitches. It's the same for fleece, for wool or any kind of other thick fabrics like that. Also, unlike me, don't forget to go back to your previous setting when you reach the jersey again. Alright, a few securing stitches and we are done! Okay, wait, just a little bit more work once the neck warmer is turned inside out. We need to close the opening with a few invisible stitches. I have not considered the pattern at all when cutting my fabric. I'm afraid I didn't have enough material to cut around the crocodiles and the lions, but sometimes it's okay to let things go, isn't it? Et voilà! Dear friends, it is the end of this tutorial. I have already made a second snood as a gift for a friend. It is very useful and always appreciate it. Bye bye! A bientôt!